Hi, my name is Daniel Odio. I am a real estate broker. I'd like to show you today how we handle electronic signatures using a Mac. Uh, PDFs in general are much easier to manipulate on Macs, and so what you'll see today is the ease through which you can manipulate a PDF using a Mac instead of a PC. Um, and we'll also have the side benefit of showing you how our company does electronic signatures, although you don't necessarily have to subscribe to the beliefs we do about electronic signatures. If you just take away the PDF usefulness, uh, that would be great as well. So uh, what we do is we have our clients physically sign a sheet of paper, and that sheet of paper uh, has their signatures on it like this and their initials, and then we also have them... I'll zoom this in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. We also have them give us their email addresses. Now our view is if we have their signature and we tie it, tie it to an email address that they give us, that gives us a way to confirm that the person we're emailing documents to when we stamp their signatures on is in fact them. All right, so how does this all work? Well, I'll show you. We, we use a tool called PDF Pen, which is not the default tool on the Mac. For PDFs, it's a downloadable tool. It costs $25. It's a, a very good application. What I'm going to do is I am going to actually uh, grab, and of course this is just a you know not real data. Uh, this is just John Doe's signature. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to copy it and then paste it. And you'll see that I have this signature now that has a white background, which is okay, but it's not great because a white background doesn't transfer onto documents very well. So what I actually do is I say edit, and then I say make transparent image with this selected uh, item and I'm going to just click on the white to actually make John Doe's signature transparent and I say make transparent so now all of a sudden the signature where before it looked like it was a block with a white background is now just text right alright let me put that over here and I'm going to do the same thing with John Doe's initials so let me grab his initials so here I am grabbing them I'm going to say copy and then paste I get a white background I'm going to then say edit and then make transparent image make it transparent okay now I put it over here so now I have my clients signatures and initials so what do I do with that well um, Let's say that, for example, I have a home inspection addendum, and that's one addendum that I have. And then I also have a contract, and that contract are two separate PDF documents. Well, I would like to combine them into one PDF document. Now, on a PC, this is not super easy to do. And, oh, by the way, I've just grayed out any sensitive information. This is an actual contract from our company, so I just grayed out any private information. But on a Mac, this is actually quite easy to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the page that's the home inspection addendum. I'm going to go over here to the regional sales contract, and I'm going to see I have a preview window here of my 10 pages. All I'm going to do is here I'm back now on the home inspection addendum. I'm just going to take this page, and I'm going to drop it into... Here. So you can see I'll drop it at the end here, and now it shows up as the 11th page on this PDF. Isn't this great? So now I've got page 9, which is the real estate contract, page 10, which is the old real estate contract, and now I've got page 11, which is my home inspection addendum. It's as easy as drag and drop. Now let's say that I want to put my client's signatures onto this home inspection addendum. All I have to do is go over back to this document where I copied and pasted their signatures, and I'm just going to, uh, to, to copy the signature, so I go to edit and then copy, and although I, I, I use keyboard shortcuts, uh, and actually let's grab the signature instead of the initial, so edit, copy, and then I go back over to my PDF and I just say edit, paste, and now their signature is on the page, and I just drag it down to the space here. And now I have a signed contract from my client. Uh, let me go get their, sign their initials as well. So I'm going to copy their initials. And then I'm going to go uh, up on one of the pages here. And if, for example, I need to have initials down here, I just simply paste in the initials. Here they are and I'm going to resize them 
so I'm resizing the initials and I just put my client's initials in and I can actually just paste those initials onto every page like I'm doing now so our clients love the ability for them to simply approve via email a contract they just absolutely love it I can't tell you them not having to run to the fax machine is just makes them ecstatic uh, also when they're traveling it makes it very easy to, to work with uh, work with us because they don't have to physically go to a fax machine while they're traveling so here I have stamped the signatures and initials for my client let me go ahead and uh, send this via fax to my client now obviously as you can guess I don't use an actual fax machine all I do is I say file print so I'm printing this PDF and then here in the print dialog where you would usually print to a printer instead it gives me the ability to say PDF mail PDF you see this here this is default in all Apple applications it is a wonderful thing so I'm going to say mail PDF that then processes my document and in a second it's going to pull it up as an email with an attachment so here's my mail program and now I have a new email message with the contract that I just stamped the signatures on as an attachment now what I would actually do is I would email it to my client to approve I would have them email me back saying that they do approve the offer obviously it would uh, not be uh, representing my client well or ethic ethical for me to send something off with their signatures without them approving it so we always get a written approval from the email address that the client originally gave us when they signed the document form let's say that I do have their approvals now so I want to fax this out well what I do is I use a service called max email to actually fax my contracts so I'll say 703 uh, 997 887 8872 now that's the the fax number that I need this to go to and this takes a bit of a mental leap okay you have to understand I'm actually going to send this to an email address 703-997-8872 at maxemailsend.com and I'll say attention let's say that the woman's name was Dorothy uh, RE colon contract for your home so let's just say that this is a contract that I'm sending to Dorothy and I'll just say Dorothy uh, this is a sample please ignore just so that uh, people don't think I'm really doing this uh, it was a pleasure to uh, show your home attached is an offer regards Drodeo and so I've just uh, put my uh, my information to here I have the attachment and it's going to go via fax to Dorothy and you know what maybe I want to copy myself on it I, I can also copy myself on the email Rem remember I'm, I'm really sending out an email it just happens to be going to this service that will turn the email into a fax and deliver it to Dorothy's fax number so let me go ahead and say send and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and I'll come back because when I get the fax on my fax machine, I'm going to show it to you so you can see what it looks like when it comes in. So I'm just sending this off now.